What I'm going to do in this video is just kind of walk you through what it would look like for the walls, the framed walls, without the floor. This would be for a subfloor that was framed. Just kind of going to go through something, put together a little uh, tutorial on what the framing looks like. Just kind of going to remove the floor and take you around the different sides of the home and uh, kind of give you a tour of it as uh, and again this just to give you better ideas of how the home is put together the walls this is a corner window and you can see there you've got the header and the sills the top plates Top plates are the top of the wall. There's all the wall studs. Usually they're spaced 16 inches on center. Now that's the front door. Basically this would be the living room of the home I designed. You got a hallway there. And then uh, this door here would take you into the kitchen, dining area kind of a thing. Simple home. This would be a sliding glass door. How it would frame out for a sliding glass door or even a double door, maybe a set of double French doors, something like that. Cabinets would go over here, and I don't have any plumbing in because this is a tutorial for the wall framing. And this would be the dividing wall between the kitchen and the living room. And just kind of, you can stop the video at any time. If you want to look at something, uh, give it a little, you know, obviously I'm not going to be able to zoom in and get a close-up of it, but... Uh, there's the hallway. And uh, you know you can stop it at any time and if you, you know if, if you see something you want to look at. And if there is something that you want a closer look at, I guess it'd be hard to give me a description. I don't know if you could give me a description. Feel free to leave it in the comment area if you want to take a look at one of the windows. These are would be the two bedrooms here this area if you wanted to look at uh, a, uh, you know if you needed a close-up of something um, better idea something like that and I could just add it to the video and uh, or add a link to the video because other people might want to see it also this is the bottom framing plates now the bottom framing plates don't need to be treated lumber on um, a subfloor. Don't forget, they can be regular lumber. I haven't treated lumber here because this was a, I used this model for a home with a foundation, concrete foundation. So didn't change out the plates. This would be the end of the hall. This would actually be the linen closet area here where you would build a linen, linen cabinet. And then now we're going into the bathrooms. There would be a bathroom on each side in this particular drawing. And bathroom window. Take a look at the bottom of the bathroom. Make sure you center all your windows, the, especially in these areas here. I should say center them if that's the design you're looking for, which is what we did here. This would be the bathroom door framing. Another view of the, this would be the master bedroom closet right here in the corner. This would be the door to the closet. And of course the bathroom is right next to the closet. Again, very simple design, very simple home design here. That's it for this video. I hope it gives you a better idea of how the conventional framing for walls, how they're actually put together. So anyway, off to the next one. Before you leave, don't forget to check out our money-saving discounted home book packages at gregvan.com. Homeowners, builders, and contractors. Check them out. Don't forget, if you're a contractor, to check out our book, 501 Contractor Tips, also.